Hello guys, uh, today I'm gonna try to make a very easy platformer game in Godot. So let's just get started. I'm gonna make a new and this is my project name, Easy Godot Platformer Tutorial. And then I'm gonna do, just create an edit. Yeah, let's try and make. Here we go. So the first thing we are gonna do is to make a sprite. So I'm gonna go to piscal.com. This is piscalapp.com, and then I want to create sprites. And then I'm just gonna paint something really white like this. And I'm gonna just download it. I'm just gonna download this like this. And then we're gonna move this. To the icon. That's it. So now we gonna make a tile. So First thing, first we're gonna create the world. We're gonna create a tile map. Which, just create new tile set. Tile set, create the tile. Yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is wrong because I want it 32 by 32. So let's just delete this and then try it again. I want to do tile map. I want new tile set. Put this on 32 and then put this here on the tile set. Okay, this is kind of wrong. I'm going to delete this again. Put tile map 32 new tile set tile set pixels yes one this 32 by 32 I got it all oh, wrong. I need this tile set to 32. So just gonna delete this again. Gonna delete that again and then tile map and then new tile set and then open the tile set and then try to make this 32 by 32 because that's what we made in fiscal app. And so we gotta create this. Uh, yes, see the text rendering is 32 by 32. This is what we want. Okay, now we want to change the color of this white pixel to something that is not white. I probably go for something red like this. Sorry, something red like this. Yep, and then we gonna just paint it. So this is our platform, and we gonna make some physics so add the physics layer and then go to tile set and then should have physics layer this then you're gonna just put the physics here 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 oh oh is it on Okay, 
I'm just going to save this as world and then we're going to create a new one for the player it's going to be player going to create a character 22d we're going to add sprite 2d we're going to add collision 2d okay so the sprite's going to use this white pixel again and then we're going to change the color um gonna change this to something yellow yep something like this and the collision shift is gonna be rectangle put it on the same spot yep like this and we're gonna save this as player. Okay, now in the world, we're gonna add by clicking Control Add. I mean, Shift Add. Alt Add. Alt Add. Control Add. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Control Shift Add. Control sh Shift Add. Control Shift A. And then add the player. I'm gonna move it right here, and then we're gonna try and play it. Select current. All right, nothing happened, but that's okay. That's what we want. So we're gonna go to the player, and then the character body 2D. We're gonna add something character body 2D, and then the template would be character body 2D movement, and then just create. We're gonna just put it like this nothing gonna be changed and then we're gonna start to play it again now we're gonna we can jump start jump start jump this is very easy platform and there is also uh, physics on the tile map What happens if we don't have any physics on the tile map? It's gonna fall down. Okay, so. Just for example, if I'm gonna just put some new tile map. This is just for an example. If we don't put the two, and we're gonna put the yes, and then we're gonna put think this so. So if we're gonna play, I uh, see that white space that doesn't have any physic layer, and if we go there, it's gonna fall down. So that's why you want to add the physic layer in here, physic layer, and then you add it in the tile map. That's being done. We're gonna add some camera 2D to the player, and then we probably gonna add something like a gate for the player to win it's gonna be 2d we're gonna add some area 2d and then we're gonna add some sprite 2d and then we're gonna add collision to So, and we're gonna change this to gate, area 2D, collision shape 2D. And this sprite gonna put some white pixels 
And then I'm just going to change this color to um, something green. Yep, like this. The collision shape will be rectangles. Move it a little bit bigger. Like so. And yeah, we're going to name this gate. And we're gonna put this gate into the world and put it somewhere on here. All right. Oh, because we add the camera, now the camera gonna move following the player. Now what I want to do is if we go to the gate, we want to have a player win. So how are we gonna do that? We just gonna go with adding a script in the area 2D. I'm gonna note if it's area body enter 2D. Oh, it needs a script, so we're gonna just create a new script. It's gonna be an empty script. And then we're gonna put that script here. So we're gonna go print you win. And now we should, if we go to the green, it says you win. It says you win. It says you win. That's very easy platform, so I'm going to do a little bit something change if we go to the gate. So for now, I'm going to add a global variable name global, and then I'm just going to put this global project on the auto load global wait, wait, wait. Um, global Okay, now it's gonna be enabled in every scene. Okay, I'm just gonna put this a variable called screen equals one. And now when we enter the body, I want something to happen to the camera, which is gonna be because it says globals dot screen. Wait, is it? Screen, right? Screen, yes. Global dot screen minus equal zero point one, and then we're gonna go and restart the file. So it's gonna be get three. We're gonna uh, change scene. To file, and we're gonna go to the world file again, like so. Then we're gonna go to the camera, which is in player camera 2D. We're gonna have a script. It's gonna go with when it's ready, it's gonna go zoom dot x equals global dot m dot screen global dot screen zoom dot y equals global dot screen 
And now, if we go play, when we go to the green, it restart the game with a minor tweak that the camera is getting farther and farther and farther away. So that's it. This is a very easy platformer in Godot. This is my first tutorial. I hope you like it. Please do comment and give like and subscribe.